playing free game. We are coming to you live. We're not live. From our home, and specifically our kitchen in our home in London. How are you guys doing? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know where you're coming live, but not live from, in the comments with the hashtag live or not live. We love hearing from you guys. Yes, we are coming from our kitchen, our very, very small kitchen to be more precise. It's okay, kitchen. It's good having a small kitchen. Actually, we do. We love having a small kitchen. Everything is far more accessible. It's easy to keep clean, as long as you clean as you go. We have had a small kitchen for over 10 years and it has taken us 10 years to actually figure out the storage really well and refine everything. And we're to a point now where we absolutely love this kitchen. And as this is a family lifestyle channel and we love sharing things with you guys, we love videos where we can help you guys out. We thought we'd share our top 10 storage hacks. A lot of you guys have been asking questions about how we manage in a small kitchen and what are our tips and our tricks and so hopefully we can help you out in this video and answer some of those questions. Yeah, we don't want you to have to take 10 years to figure out your small kitchens. It's been a fun 10 years though. Yeah, why take 10 years when you can watch this video and it can take 10 minutes. Also, if you have a big kitchen or a medium sized kitchen, I think you'll still love these hacks and you will still probably use them. Yeah, they still apply for any kitchen. They'll save space. But before we get into those tips, one important thing we have to tell you first about having a kitchen is having a safe kitchen and a safe house for that matter, which is why we're really happy to share with you today the new home security system that we have got from Xsense as they have sponsored this part of the video. Xsense is a leading global provider of products, services and integrated solutions in the field of home safety. They do smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors and home security systems, which is what we've got. This smart home security system comes with a base station which is the central hub of the whole system, as well as motion sensors which detect movement in the local vicinity, entry sensors which detect entry through any doors or windows and a remote control for quick and easy control of the system. All installation and setup can be easily managed via the Xsense free app, as well as all monitoring of the system, which is really handy when you're away from home. As a family that frequently travels, it's important to us that we have peace of mind that our home is safe and secure. And with the Xsense home security system, we have that. They've been kind enough to supply us with the following discount code for you to use at checkout, which will give you a great discount on your purchase. So follow the link in the description to help make your home even safer. So we're all set up now, guys. We've got the hub in place. We've got motion sensors, door and window sensors as well. So it's set up as designed as a home security system. However, we want to test it and show you guys exactly how effective it is. So what we need to do is put it on away mode and create the situation like we're not here. Now what we need is someone to pretend to be a burglar trying to get into our house. Now. For this, we need someone to be cheeky, sneaky, someone who's good at disguising themselves, and someone who's got lots of spy gear. So let's put it to the test and see how well the alarm works if someone is trying to get into the house. for example a door has been left open we're not going to do that obviously and someone does get into the house will the motion sensor pick them up <laughs> hello mr burglar man you look different <laughs> thanks for your help mate well, you can see guys how effective it works. Xsense have got loads of great products for home safety. So follow the link in the description where you can see all of the different products that they've got. See the code on screen, just there, can you see it, Jojo? Oh yeah, it's fine. Use that code at checkout to get yourself a discount of one of these great products. Right, as we all know guys, true wealth is in our health. And for me, it's really important that this kitchen is organized because when it's organized, I tend to cook more. I cook from scratch more, I enjoy cooking, which means less takeaways, less processed food and better health. 
I'm going to start with this one because this is one of my favourite things. We've had this for ages and I absolutely love this thing. Obviously, you cannot have cupboards above a cooker because it gets hot. So these metal shelves are perfect we've got two of them this one's obviously quite high up so it utilizes that space above and everything's just really easy to grab that's what i love about them when i'm cooking i can just grab things really easily also you can put hooks on these rails and hang things from here things like this milk jug which i use to make plant milks so this is really handy and also it's a good place it gets quite warm because of the cooker so i use it for things like this for my sourdough starter to rise also, these are things that I would not be able to fit in a cupboard. I have not got the cupboard space for these, so this is just the perfect area for all this kind of stuff. Which brings me over to here. So many of you have asked about this area, like what's going on here? This is one of the newest things we've done. I was racking my brain for so long of what to do with this wall because it was just a wall that you couldn't use because it's so close to the door. I couldn't put any deep shelves on there. I wanted to put maybe some of these on there, but I knew people were gonna bang into them. So this is a brilliant hack. These are picture shelves which are only about 10 centimeters deep. All of these were once in this cupboard and every time I opened this cupboard, they would all fall out. It was getting to a point where I really didn't know what to do. But anyway, so these jars are 10 centimeters, so they fit perfectly. All of these jars actually recycled, so I bought other things in these jars and then just washed them out, took the labels off them and then used them for this. We actually buy a lot of our uh, dried food, spices, things like that in bulk. I keep the bigger sacks of them in my pantry and then I just fill these up. And so this is so handy when I'm cooking. I can just grab whatever I need. This has helped me be a lot healthier because I'm using a lot more of my own natural ingredients and making things from scratch. And probably nearly everything up here is organic as well. If you're going to do this guys, one thing you may need to do is what we had to do. These are picture shelves, so they may not hold the weight if you're putting heavy things on here. So what Bob had to do with one of these, because I had a lot of the heavy stuff on here and it bowed a little bit, so he put brackets underneath. So that's given this one. And I, these ones seem all right. These ones have been fine so far. So hopefully they'll be fine, but if not, then I'm gonna get him to put these tiny brackets underneath here as well. And what's really good about these is when people come into the door, they're just nowhere near. We tested it out many times and these are just not intrusive. And nobody has knocked themselves on these shelves as they're coming in the room. So they are perfect and they fill this space up really well. The next one is probably the most simple one, but it's one that I really, really do appreciate because for so long, I did not have anywhere to put a bin in this kitchen. I mean, we don't have a lot of waste, as you guys well know, but we do have some waste. And so this is one of the most simple things that Bob figured out to do. He's put a screw there inside this unit and he's put a screw there. I don't buy bin bags. Like this is a bread bag. You know when you get postage bags, things like that, we literally just pop it on one side, pop it on the other and that's it, that's the bin. Even when this door is open, it, it's just completely out the way, tucked away behind the door. This is a good tip. You could actually do this on the inside of a cupboard door if you want to. I know some people sell similar things, but you could just put two screws in and hook the bag over the top. Okay, this is the newest addition to this kitchen, and I'm really excited about this one, which is our above the door storage. I'm just on my tiptoes at the moment to show you this. I got this tip from my friend who is Russian. In her apartment, she has these storage shelves above all of her doors. But when I went round there, I said, wow, I've never seen that before. She said it was quite a common thing in Russia. And I thought, wow, that's it's just like space that you wouldn't normally use. As you can see, it's not been painted yet because literally Bob's just done this. What's really cool as well is this is all recycled wood. These are slats from Jojo's old bed and this is an old shelf from Sam's bedroom. I'm really happy as well because as you guys know, we don't drink tap water. This is all spring water and I was struggling to find places to put the spring water. This perfectly fits seven of these five litre containers. So I'm just really happy and it's completely out of the way. No one even looks up there. 
So it's, I'm just so, so happy with this. I know a lot of you might think keeping spring water in plastic is not ideal. I know it's not ideal, but it's the best way that we can collect the water because it's lighter weight. We do actually have about 40 glass Voss bottles in there in the cupboards and three five litre glass demijohns as well, which this water will go into. But for now, it just means that when the water comes in here, I've just got somewhere out the way to store it. Another really good thing people do is store things on top of their cupboards in their kitchens, but we only have like two spaces and they're pretty much filled up as well. So this is perfect. And the next one is rails and hooks. I love this one. These are some shelves we've had up for years. I think you guys know we've shown these in our uh, kitchen tour videos before. So I'm not gonna talk about those shelves right now. But underneath here, we've had attached a rail to the bottom of the shelf. And there's loads of these lovely hooks on there, which means I can just hang loads of stuff on there. And this is actually hanging on there as well, which has all my washing up stuff in and cleaning stuff. Before it meant that there was like washing up liquid and brushes all around here. And now they're just out the way and I just love it. This is a great one for those of you who do not have a utility room or a place to put your washer and dryer. This is a washer and dryer combined, which obviously saves space because you'd have a whole nother machine. I know it's a bit drying clothes in a machine is a bit controversial these days, but about 90% of the time, probably even more than that, we air dry our clothes either outside or we have a rack. This is only when I have tons of washing and I need to get it done quicker, I use the dryer. But yeah, it is very handy that this is all in one machine. Okay, this is an area of the kitchen that most people do not consider when it comes to small kitchens, it is under the bottom of the cupboards. We have a rack under here which is attached to the bottom of the cupboard which we put our kitchen roll on, which we're not using at the moment because we don't have any kitchen roll. These areas of the kitchen are really good. You can screw magnetic plates um, under here and put knives on them or you can screw hooks under here. Some people have lights under here. You look like the mechanic of kitchens. Just sliding under the cupboard to see what needs doing under here. Yeah, right on your feet now. Okay, the next one is magnets. This is the size of our fridge. There's so much more you can do with magnets. Years ago, it was just, if you had fridge magnets, you would just use it to put a picture of your kids up there or someone else's kid in this case, or pictures that your kids have drawn, stuff like that. But now there's so much more and I know this stuff through having the van because we had the van, we have a tiny kitchen in the van. So we really, really had to figure out storage in there and magnets was one of the best things. Obviously, because it's a van, there is loads of metal in there. So magnets are amazing in the van. But also these we have in the van. I had loads left over as well, which we can put our salt and pepper in, which one I'm cooking here is really, really handy. Also we have this which keeps pens. This is a white pen I use to mark the top of the jars uh, for my spices. Also, these hooks are amazing. I discovered these with the van as well. They are so strong. You can put your keys on there. I've got my peeler on there. I've got my measuring cups, which I use every day. I could even have more. I could even put more hooks on here if I wanted to. There's still more space. I just don't like it to look too cluttered because I will get I get a bit stressed if things look too cluttered. So I think, yeah, maybe this is enough. Okay, now you've seen one side of the fridge. I'm gonna show you the other side of the fridge. This is such a handy area. It's like an area that I never thought to use before. I literally asked Bob to put a few nails in the wall around here and I've got my pancake pan hanging there and this funnel, which I use to fill up my jars, which saves me from making a huge mess. And then I've just got some other stuff around here, some pictures that the kids drew. Now the last one we've got for you guys is actually outside of the kitchen. And so I guess it comes up in the situation if you do have a spare cupboard, which is outside of the kitchen and you can turn it into a pantry just like we have. So as we have such a small kitchen, and yet I love buying in bulk, I love getting organic food in bulk. Over the years I've figured out ways to buy in bulk, super cheap. If you want me to do a video on that, please let me know in the comments below because I have some amazing hacks on this. 
and organic food as well. But because I like buying in bulk, obviously it's better, there's less packaging. I have to have a place to put it. So we decided to make a cupboard that was away from the kitchen, our pantry, and that's what this is. If you are gonna have a cupboard, which is a pantry, there's a few things you have to remember, that it can't have a window in it, it has to be vented and there can't be any heat source, like there can't be a radiator, it can't be an airing cupboard. This cupboard ticks all of those boxes because obviously you need to you need to store food. It always says on packaging you need to store it in a cool, dark place. So mostly I buy food in bags like this, which are paper bags. Some of them unfortunately come in plastic, but I do reuse the plastic, like I said, for my bin. But most of the stuff comes in paper bags. But as it doesn't stay fresh for a long time in paper bags, I have these reusable plastic BPA free tubs, which I got. I think I bought the bottom and the lid came separately, but altogether they were six pounds, so not much at all. And this is what I keep most of my food in. This one is organic cacao powder. Yes, yeah, so this has been really helpful for us. It saved us a lot of money and it means we can buy a lot more organic food. Uh, which is better for our bodies and better for the planet. So that is it for another video guys. I hope you have found this helpful. All of the different things that we do in our kitchen to save space and I hope it has answered some of your questions and maybe given you some ideas as well. If you have any other videos that you'd like us to make on, like Katie said, about how we buy bulk food and save money, any other lifestyle tip or hacks videos, let us know. We are happy to share more things that we feel that could help you guys. But that's where we're going to sign off and end this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. But just remember, no matter what's happening in the world, you guys always stay free and keep rising.